Welcome back. Let's make a quick untuna. Yes, I said untuna. We have some carrot pulp, a little pepper, a little salt, some Indian black salt, We're gonna use some onion powder, which I know it looks like I don't have any, but yeah, some nori fukaki. That's for your fish flavor. We're gonna use some mayonnaise, some mustard, and relish. This is some leftover onions, bell peppers, and celery that I had. So I went ahead and used that instead of cutting up new onions. Go and scoop that in there. Nothing to go to waste. We're going to use a little relish. Everything is made from the spirit. Here's a little ginger shot that you'll see I made in a previous video. Delicious. Why is it so spicy? Woo wee! That thing hit though. <laughs> the faces are really special. Why is it so spicy? You know y'all, I ain't got no sense whatsoever. Anyways, back to this recipe. I'm going to use a little relish. Everything is to taste, guys. Everything is to taste. However you make your tuna salad is the way you make this salad. Without the fish. I'm trying to get back on my semi-vegan pescatarian journey. So, I am making my juices and making some healthier decisions in my food don't ask me why i was dancing <laughs> nori fukaki this is also it's like a seaweed seasoning it helps give you that fishy flavor without the fish a little mustard Or a lot of mustard. Don't judge me. I didn't have any vegan mayo, so we're using regular mayo. Use what you got till you get what you want. Just a little pepper. You don't want to over salt it, but just a little bit. All right, so you're basically going to stir this together, give it a little taste. You're going to add some black salt. Black salt gives it an egg flavor without having an egg. Y'all excuse my ghetto self eating it off the thing. <laughs> Try playing, but it was delicious. As usual, TJ bugging me. Here go to voiceover. <laughs> All right, a little bit more nori. And again, guys, season to your taste. You know somebody always talking to me in the background. My little bit of onion powder I had left. Add to cart. <laughs> A 
Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you enjoy these cooking videos, please let me know. Even though we're not cooking today. But let me know if you enjoy these. And you can mix this in a bigger bowl because it does require you get down to the bottom and get that pulp done. You can also use blended down chickpeas, um, but I prefer the carrots. I like the texture of the carrots more and the flavor. It's delicious. Then I'm realizing, oh, you forgot the black salt. bit more mustard there's our black salt that I forgot and when you open black salt you will smell the eggy smell it's like a sulfur smell but it tastes good and it gives you egg flavor without the eggs it's a little bit more mayonnaise That's pretty much it guys you just stir it up you make it like you would make your tuna fish like I said and you just add the nori frikake and the um, Indian black salt to give you those substitute flavors that you don't want to use animal products in your salad that didn't make any sense but you know what I mean <laughs> Taste, taste, taste. It tastes amazing. I made a sandwich which I forgot to take a picture of, but I'll do a mukbang on it so y'all can see it for yourself. Yep, you just keep adding until the ancestors tell you to stop. If you guys have tried Untuna, leave me a comment and let me know how you like it or the variation you might use. It's very delicious. I thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys. A little dance for you. Bye.